Hey guys, Accuracy Dags at your service. Bye. In this video, I will be teaching you how you can properly install your new hard drive. It may be a 2.5 inches SSD, M.2 SSD, or even the classic 7200 RPM 3.5 inches hard drive. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button as well so you'll be updated with my upcoming videos. Installing a hard drive is very simple. If you are planning to buy a 2.5 inch SSD or the 3.5 inch internal hard drive, you should also not forget to buy an extra SATA data cable. It does not come with your new hard drive and is always sold separately. You should also not forget to check if you have an extra 15 pin SATA from your power supply. If you don't have one, you can always buy a 15 pin SATA Y splitter adapter or a 15 pin to 4 pin Molex adapter. You can buy all of these for a very cheap price from eBay and a link is under the description. I have also reviewed this powerful SSD from Seagate and a link is under the description if you want to view my re full review. If you are planning to buy an M.2 NVMe SSD, you just need to make sure that your motherboard has an M.2 socket. If you have an older motherboard and does not have an M.2 socket, you can buy a PCI2 NVMe adapter on eBay for a very cheap price and you can have the benefit of having a fast NVMe hard drive without buying or upgrading to a new motherboard. A link is under the description for the adapter. I also have reviewed this powerful NVMe M.2 SSD from Silicon Power model A80 that has a read and write speed of up to 3000 megabytes per second and a link is under the description if you want to watch my full review. To physically install an M.2 SSD, we only need to locate where the M.2 socket is from our motherboard. It is always easy if we remove the graphics card first, then just plug and screw it in place and it's done. Easy. With a 2.5 SSD and a 3.5 inches 7200 RPM hard drives, you just need to make sure that you have an extra hard drive bay. Then plug the 15 pin SATA from your power supply to your SSD, then your data cable to your SSD, and the other end to your motherboard. Done! Simple, right? Okay, now it's time to turn our computer on. If we go to my PC or this PC, you would notice that the new hard drive that, is, that we just installed is not recognized. So all we have to do is basically go to the Windows button and search for disk partition. Click the very topmost. And in here, all of the drives would basically be in there. And we will we notice that there is one that is on a black bar. That black bar indicates that that hard drive is not formatted yet and is still unallocated. Now we just have to format it by clicking the right click button, then select new simple volume, then follow the prompts. So I just click next and then we can either select what letter we would allocate this, but let's just leave it like that. And then you can al also change the name of this hard drive, but let's just leave it to new simple volume. And then simple format, and then just click. And then it should be done. Let's just wait for a computer to recognize it. And there it is. There we have it. There we have our new hard drive. So. I hope you like this video and please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe as well if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you so much and I'll see you again next time. Dags out.